Hello and welcome back to the Elder Scrolls 4 Oblivion on Nixus Gaming. In the last episode we started in Coral and went to deliver Martin back to Wayne and Priory for Joffrey, only to find it being attacked by Mythic Dawn Cultus, and to find the Amulet of Kings stolen and missing. So now in a desperate attempt to keep Martin safe we are on our way to Bruma, to the Cloud Ruler Temple, sacred stronghold of the blades in order to store martin away and keep him safe from whatever these mythic dawn guys are now last episode i stopped here at the alien well thinking that i missed something along the way here and i actually did so we're gonna do some backtracking just a little bit not too far what i'm looking for is a special type of rune stone that we haven't encountered yet in the game you can find them all over the map. I say all over. I think there's only like four or five across the map. So they're good to keep track of if you need them. But this one should be just north of the bridge here. So let's hop up here. What we're looking for is a Sidri Ashok runestone. Which when activated will give us a temporary bound weapon and helmet power. So let's see, that's the bridge down there. And there's the rune stone right here. It doesn't mark on your map or anything, so you just gotta remember where it is. But it is a Sidria Shock if we activate it. It stirs under your hand. Do you seek its conjured weapon and armor? Yes. So we now, if you look at the top right there, we now have a few effects here. Let's go in to our active effects. Let's see. We scroll down. We have a rune bow and helm, bound helmet. And we also, what, what's the third thing it gave us there? Oh, that's from the alien well we activated last episode. So we now have a bound bow and helmet, which uh, I may have made a mistake in getting because I, what what is with our helmet? Oh, that's the bound helmet. That looks gnarly as hell. It looks like a Daedric helmet, honestly. Kinda cool. But uh, honestly, I don't want to use the bound bow because I'm more of a sword guy. Sadly, I am now stuck with the bound bow until it wears off and uh, it looks like it's staying for quite a while oh boy can I just uh, wait wait it out okay waiting an hour got rid of it that's cool it also healed us up which is nice I just wanted to show that off that's a Sidria shock runestone if you ever find one and you're in quick need of a bow and helmet go ahead and just activate it and you will get one now there are other types of rune stones in the game too. Uh, Hestra rune stones, which are th I think are a lot more special. They can give you unique abilities and stuff. There's also birth sign rune stones. E one for each of the birth signs that you uh, see in the game. Birth signs are the same as in Skyrim, so there's stuff like the thief, the tower, the steed, the shadow, all the weird constellations in the sky, you know. And I think we'll actually be running into one of those soon as well along our journey here. But we're back here. We're at the Aeliad Well, so we can continue on. The next location to stop at on our map is Toadstool Hollow. I think that might lead into a back way into Bruma if you take that road. But we're going to follow the main road here because we can... And because I know that leads to where we want to find stuff. So, yeah. That was really strange wording. But this leads to where we want to go, is what I meant to say. Toadstool Hollow should be somewhere in that little intersecting path there. So we do have a little bit of walking, but nothing too bad. Again, like I said last episode, you get some really nice views of the Imperial City along this path. Since we're up in the mountains. Uh, we got something up here. Oh, this is a way shrine. 
that'll be important when we do Knights of the Nine. So you might want to take a mental note of what way shrine this is. I believe it's Akatosh. I'm really not sure though. Let's go up and check. Yeah, Way Shrine of Akatosh. So uh, you said there it told uh, us to pray at the Nine Shrines. That's part of the uh, Knights of the Nine quest. It's going to be pretty much the first quest we do in that DLC. You got to go around the entire map and pray at these shrines in a pilgrimage of sorts. You can already tell Knights of the Nine is going to be a very religious quest line. But it's not bad. I remember enjoying it. So, yeah. That's a little sneak peek of what that is. We got the rising sun in the distance coming over the Imperial City. We also got a cave on our map. I believe that is Toadstool Hollow. Good for us. We are almost there. Hopefully... I know Martin's going to follow us in now, because he's on foot. I don't think Joffrey will. We learned last episode that neither of them wanted to follow us into the last cave. And I want to say that's because they were both riding on horses at the time, but uh, Martin killed his horse and followed me right in afterwards, so... I don't know, maybe if we kill Joffrey's horse, we'll be fine. We'll get more backup in the cave. I don't really want to do that, though. I don't want it to come to that. Alright, so we should just about be to the intersection in the path here. Toadstool Hollow should be right up this hill here. Yeah, here's the intersection in the path. Toadstool Hollow, we can see the compass marker moving there. There it is. Uh, we got an enemy music. Oh, a big cat. Hey, buddy, you didn't even hit me there. What are you doing? Come on. Come on, there you go. You got a hit in. I'm proud of you. You got two hits in. I'm proud of you. I would be so proud of you if you stopped staggering me. There we go. Why do I... I thought I heard another one, but I think it was just that one dying. Alright, so uh, Toadstool Hollow sees some coffins in the outside of it, which makes me think vampires, and it just gave us a loading screen tip about the vampire disease. Why do I... Oh my god, those fell like right behind me. I panicked there a little. I heard all the rocks falling, and I know that I've already died once in this playthrough to rocks falling. I don't want it to happen again. And we got a lot of coffins. We might be fighting some vampires here. Toadstool Hollow, I wouldn't peg as a vampire cave, but uh... Yes, that's what it is. I hear a rat somewhere. I don't see where to go, though. Oh, down there, maybe? Is that the only way to go? That's a point of no return. Double back. Um. So that was the entrance. Yeah, okay, I guess we're uh, dropping down there. It's definitely two rats down there. I don't know if Martin's going to follow me down here. We're over-encumbered. Can I make any potions? Please tell me I can make potions to not be over-encumbered. Make all the potions... That I can. Um, let's see. I should have something. No, nothing with a Daedra heart. Is this... I have so many resist things. But none of them are the same. 
Um. Resist frost. No? No? Oh, something with that. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Tobacco, onions. There we go. We're back in it. Okay. Ginkgo leaves, maybe? Glow dust? Uh, let's see. Rat meat. Something? No? Nothing. Troll fat? Nope. Okay. I mean, we got like four more pounds from that, so that's alright. Probably should have sold some stuff before I came into this cave. Or started this episode. I'm not too worried about it, though. Ebony dagger. We got ebony equipment now? I mean, I would definitely take that if I used daggers. But I don't. So I'm going to pass on it. We got a hard locked door. I'm assuming we'll find a key for that at some point. So let's ignore it for now. Hello, anybody home? I guess I'll go right. Okay, that leads to the hollow tunnels. And left... Leads to the double back. The double back... Leads back over here. So I guess we go with the hollow tunnels? Also, that looks like a dead end where that hard door went, so maybe we won't get a key to that. Let's go to the hollow tunnels first. See where that leads. Oh, hey, Martin's here. We got a mud crab. Got more pedestals like we should be fighting vampires, but I haven't seen any yet. Potion of Cure Disease. Hello, anybody home? Skeleton. Okay. Gold. On a rock, a dread zombie, okay. Easy. That over encumbers me. Can I make more potions? I'm going to cheese this potion stuff as much as I can. I hope you guys know that. Bone meal, rat meat, frost salts. Those can't mix though. Uh, what other new stuff did I get? I don't think crab meat can do anything, no. Okay, did that do anything for us? Two pounds. Two whole pounds. Let's go. Ow. There we go. Gold necklace, we'll take it. I think I already checked that. Alright, let's continue on here. Martin killed a rat there, that's nice. Another mud crab. Oh, okay. So I can't, I can't. It's uh... What can we drop here? Drop that, equip that. That gives us some space. We why do we not have, like, any space for anything? Why are we so over-encumbered right now? I don't understand. Those are pretty heavy. Is that 8 pounds each? Bear pelts are heavy. Got it. Well, in that case, we might be getting rid of our bear pelts. 
I hate to get rid of an orcish helmet, but it doesn't have any enchantments on it. I only picked up the second one because it was... I knew it was in better condition than my first one. More rats. A lot of rats. Ooh. Okay, this is this is gonna over encumber us. Definitely. But we can we can deal with that. We can definitely deal with that. Oh yeah, see how much how much uh weight that gave us? That gave us over fifty pounds. Good good. All right. Also, we got an expert retort. So we don't need the novice one anymore. Might as well drop that. Am I in the air? Was I in the air? There we go. So I think that helps us make better potions, the higher quality equipment we have. I'm really not sure though. Come on. Okay, we got a level up two on the way. Elven battle axe, more rat meat. Grab all the rat meat. Wormwood. Might be able to make something out of that. All right. So next time we find a bed, we need to uh, sleep in it. See a door here. Does this go to the double back? No, that goes back to Toadstool Hollow, the first area. Okay. There's also this section over here. Average lock. Cool. And nothing else. Still looking for a bed though. Still looking for a bed. Alright, so does this... Puts us down... Down here? Where? What? Is this, like, up a floor? So we started on the middle floor, and then we dropped down and went this way into the hollow tunnels, which I think went up a floor, and now we're on an upper floor here going to the double back. If I understand that right. Martin, get out of the way if you don't want to get slashed. I don't suppose I can sleep in a coffin. Alright, so we're going back down now. So in theory, this should connect up with that uh, other double back door we saw. Oh, come on. There we go. Hey, pal. Hit me. There we go. Bone meal. You can keep your battle axe. Take the potion, though. Let's head through this way. See what we can find here. I haven't found anything too special in this place yet. I don't think I've found anything that would qualify as a boss, except for maybe that hero just now. Oh, 
Okay, this looks special. Uh, can I hit you? I cannot hit you, so that means it's time to get this guy out. Oh, come on. Don't stagger me when I need to kill you fast. I, I can't. I can't move. He drained my endurance and wasted my time with that. Dude, that... Oh my god. I absolutely hate that they can drain my stuff. I hate it. Because now I'm going to have to drop a bunch of crap. I don't even know what I can drop. Like... <clears throat> Restore strength. I need restore endurance is what I need. That didn't help. Like, all of my stuff is drained. What is this bullcrap? I don't even know, like, what I can do here. Ah, uh, let's... Start dropping stuff. Don't put it on, you asshole. Take it off. If I get rid of anything else, it, it's literally what I'm wearing. I hate this. This is so stupid. Get rid of the gauntlets too. Currently silenced, I can't cast my bound weapon. There we go. Faded Wraith. I need... I need my stuff, man. Am I... Is my stuff back up? Am I not drained anymore? Where's... Okay, so it was a temporary drain. That's not so bad. It's the Grog Key. That's probably what I need for that one area. Okay. I got a little upset there for no reason. All the other times my uh, stat drainages have been permanent. Which is kind of BS. But that one was not permanent. It went back. So I'm good. I'm fine. Let's see. That locked door should have been right here. There we go. Oh, hi there, buddy. Uh... He, he's not alive. I just, uh... He twitched a little. He's, uh, drinking beer. I don't think he's alive. No, he's not alive. I don't understand what the point of this room was. Other than to see him. And get a silver warhammer if you really want it. I mean, he has beer and beer. Well, that wasn't a waste of time at all. How do I get out of here? Right, that's how I get out of here. So if I want to actually get out of here, I need to go back through one of these two. And circle back around. Which is pretty lame. Alright, let's go this way. Up the little ramp here. Up this little ramp. Around here. And is it this way? Yeah, it's this way here. 
this should put me on the upper level of the first area where I can drop down to the entrance. And get hurt in the process. Which is great. Is there a bed here? It's a campfire, but no bed. Okay. What's important, though, is that we're out. We are out. Back into the open. And that is a gate to oblivion right there, which I do not want to deal with. But it's there if I want to. I'm actually going to fast travel to the Coral North Gate. We're going to go to our house and we're going to rest and get this level up. Oh, again, pressing... Oh, I forgot to put on my armor that I dropped. And the shield. There we go. I guess while we're here, we can sell some of this stuff too. I've been better. I heard that someone saw the ghost of Lord Brindle. All right, into Arbor Watch. Upstairs, we'll sleep in the, I guess, one of the extra bedrooms for one hour. Uh, we'll do speed, endurance, and intelligence. Okay. I mean, it's okay. It's higher. You have ascended to level 17, life isn't over, you can still get smarter, or cleverer, or more experienced, or meaner, but your body and soul just aren't going to get any younger. Alright. So let's head over to Northern Goods and Trade real quick, hopefully before it closes here. We'll make some potions, sell what we got, and get back on the road. Go ahead. No, you go ahead. You go ahead, sir. Alright, they are still open. Let's see what we can make with this new retort here. Use all of that. Alright. Still probably nothing with the crab meat, no. Store health, shock shield, night eye frost shield, shock damage, dispel, fire damage, resist frost, frost damage, resist fire, store speed, light, store willpower, burden, store fatigue, water breathing, damage fatigue, detect life, store luck, damage endurance, damage agility, fortify personality, I can't make anything else. This sucks. I have a bunch of ingredients that just don't work you with each other. To Hundertar? Odd fellow. But he seems to know his way around these parts. Let's do business. Alright, sell what we can here. All of this stuff. That's more than I'd usually pay. Sell the potions. Uh. Keep the potion of healing. I guess keep the potions of sorcery too. Uh, good. That's a that's uh. Oh my god, got a lot of potions to sell. I uh, keep the strong potions of healing. All the ingredients we'll keep. Uh, I don't think I ever learned that, so we'll keep that. You drive up. Don't need these anymore. Got a lot of scrolls that we picked up. And some lion pelts. No bear pelts. Those Got things weigh way too much. Let's go ahead and learn this. Dick. Well met. And then sell business. the book. A good pro Thank you. Bye. And we had that other thing to sell too. Right? 
Yeah, the unyielding curious. I thought she was a general merchant. I thought she bought everything. I guess not. So in order to sell that, we'll come over here to the fire and steel shop. What can I do for you? I understand the Fighters Guild is looking for new members. Seems a bit odd, but that's what I hear. Let's do business. All right, will you buy that from me? You'll buy that random arrow. Yeah, you will buy that for me. 1,200 gold. I like it. Tell your... All right. Goodbye. If we want to, we can buy another house expansion from her, but I'm going to hold off. I want to get back on the road. We're going to go down here first and see a few things. We're going to check out our first birth sign stone, which I believe is going to be a thief stone. And then there's going to be a small village over here. We can't do anything at it, but I do still want to go ahead and discover it. Now we are going to have to walk past this uh, gate to oblivion here. I don't think it'll be a huge problem. There might be a few monsters outside of it. Really? I, that was like barely... Okay. Can't hit me. Okay, you hit me. That means he gotta die. Take that. And uh... You see the sky is all red with fire and lightning and fiery lightning. That doesn't concern us. This bear, however, does concern me. Come on, you're almost there, buddy. A bookie bear. There we go. Boogie Bear is dead. Alright, again, we're just ignoring the Oblivion Gate. I don't want to deal with that. Not unless I have to. And trust me, we're going to have to deal with more Oblivion Gates in this game. Big shocker, the name of the game, Oblivion. You gotta go into Oblivion a lot. Who would have thought? Alright. So I don't know... Oh, hey there, Boogie Bear. To arms. Hi there, uh, what are you doing? There we go. Take that. That village I was talking about is right over here. Don't know if there's an actual road leading to it or not. I thought there was. Why do I still have enemy music? Oh, that's why. Oh, did my... My sword just broke. And I don't have a backup sword. Don't mind me, just blocking a battle axe with my own hands. There we go. Alright, take that. I hate how all these bandits wear light armor. I don't wear light armor. Right, repair hammer, definitely repair a sword up. His boots are almost broken. Like, all my armor is almost broken. Get that all the way up to full. There we go. And re-equip that. There we go. We are all good. I want to know how to get up to that uh, village there, though. That would be nice. And that stone, that rune stone I was talking about, is somewhere on this side of the road. I just don't know where. I'm going to take a peek over here. Oh, we got a troll up there. That kind of aggroed. A biggie. Anything in this, like, little hole area here? No?
Yeah, I'm not seeing where this stone is supposed to be. I'll just uh, keep following the road back. We should be connecting up with the uh, the Red Ring Road here pretty quickly anyway. And if I get there without finding a path to the village or the stone, I'll look it up real quick. Take that. These lions, they like to roar after you kill them, which always throws me off. Makes me think there's another one, like, right behind me. Oh! And that would be the stone right there. So let's see, this is the thief stone, I believe. I don't think it's going to mark on our map. No, it won't. So marked by a special fate, you rule your destiny. Do you choose to steer by the stars of the thief? I do. The stars of the thief shine upon you. You have gained the cheater's nip, greater power. So how these birth signs work, birth sign stones, they each give you a greater power. This one gives you the cheater's nip, which fortifies your agility and luck by 20 points for 120 seconds. Now you can only have a single birth sign power at a time. So if we find another birth sign stone, and we want to go with that one, we won't have the cheater's nip anymore. So if you're ever in need of one of these greater powers, you're probably going to want to keep in mind where all of these are. So that you can travel to them fast and get the power you need. Can you hit me? Dude, hit me and don't stagger me. There we go. Did a little pounce there. All right, and this connects up with the Red Ring Road here. I'm not going to bother getting too close because there are probably enemies that respawned outside of there. Yep, I just heard one say something, but here we are. Right here, so we've now explored this whole section of the Silver Road. I'm going to fast travel back to Toadstool Hollow. Which uh, both of them just stayed at. They didn't even try and follow me down. Which is interesting. And there wasn't actually a road that connected to that town I wanted to go to. So I think I'm just going to leave that be as well. Let's start going north along the silver road here. The final stretch to get to Bruma. We're getting the red sky even though we're walking away from the uh, oblivion portal there. No biggie. Ooh, that's a new enemy. I think that's an ice troll? What are you? No, no, you're an ogre. I forgot they have ogres in this game. And ogres are uh, kind of tough. There we go. You got ogre's teeth. That's new. So let's just keep climbing up this road here. Should see a third type of stone along this road as well. I mentioned it either at the beginning of this episode or the last one. I can't remember. But this one is a Hestra rune stone. We got another ogre. It looks like someone's fallen victim to this one. It'd be nice if I had my companions here. But they've uh, both abandoned me. Take the teeth. We got a bandit bowman. That ogre did her job for us and killed a bandit. That's nice. Trying to keep my eye out for this Hestra rune stone. Hestra rune stones are going to work like this Sidria shock rune stone. Except I believe they uh, conjure something different on you. Sidria Shock Rune Stone will always be a uh, a bound helmet and bow. The he sorry, the Hestra Rune Stone. However, the stone stirs under your hand. Do you seek its conjured weapon and armor? All right, this one gave me a bound dagger. And I 
think it gives you a bound bound gauntlets which are light armor and I'd honestly prefer the orcish gauntlets so that's not ideal and the dagger I mean it's a one-handed blade so I guess it works it's actually stronger than our steel longsword too so I can roll with this I guess but I think we're gonna go ahead and end the episode off there we didn't quite make it to Bruma like I wanted to. There is one more dungeon like right here that we're going to go to before we get to Bruma though. So next episode we're going to hit that up and enter Bruma and see what's going on in there. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you then. Bye bye.